All right. So I appreciate y'all. As always, uh, I appreciate anybody who's going to be tuning in to view this. I I do take pride in this. Um, at the same time, I want to get this information out. Okay. So it's now we're April 7th. Yeah. And um, look at this. This is a trending trending story right here. So we're on Sunday, huh? We made it to Sunday. Real Housewives of Orange County alum Lori Peterson announces death of son Josh Waring at age 35. Look at uh, the quote, every fiber in my body hurts. No one can ever prepare you for this feeling of such deep loss. Peterson wrote on Instagram, again, sympathy with any any anybody who you know family members ones close to them who have passed these are new stories okay and you know these pump out daily and what i do is i find interesting connections okay because these are celebrities on the world stage at some level right and they're not going to be in the news for no reason um there's narratives being pushed we know how the industry gets down there's a lot of exposing going on so we'll move forward here and there's a few video clips so we can kind of get familiar here with the situation all right so here's some pics here just to i never never watched the show um there's a lot of spin-offs of this type of show right isn't there one in Atlanta? Wasn't there like real housewives of the NBA? You know, just different things like that, right? Stuff like that. Um, so this is Lori Peterson, I guess. This, this is the character here, her son passing. And we'll, we'll play these videos, uh, probably get a little bit more familiar here, and then we'll get into the connections, okay? And these characters look like they could... I couldn't pick them out of a lineup, to be honest. Um, so if they were, if this character on the right is here or not, and again, sympathy, I see it looks like he's a father. Um, I don't want to overlook that, but I couldn't pick these people out of a lineup. So we don't know if we're just continued to be, uh, we're, we're continued to be deceived here, right, by the mainstream. So let's play this. Lori Peterson is mourning a tragic loss. The Real Housewives of Orange County alum takes to her Instagram April 6th to announce the passing of her son, Joshua Michael Philip Waring. Sharing a series of photos of her son, Lori writes, It is with a shattered heart that I write this post to let you know that my sweet Josh left this earth Easter Sunday. No one can ever prepare you for this feeling of such deep loss. Every fiber in my body hurts. The reality star then details some of the struggles her son faced in his life, saying, Josh fought every single day. Okay, and you know they're going to do that, right? You know they're going to do that. Um, I don't know. I think it, uh, I can't tell people what to do, how to react to any type of death, but it, it was kind of like, wait for it, wait for it. Ah. Oh. Okay, now we, you know, now they got something to roll with. I mean, that's just my opinion. It says Josh fought every single day for most of his adult life, for his single life, but this past Sunday, so suffered with substance abuse, I guess. Um, we'll go forward in the video, not, not saying it doesn't happen, but what's going on with the patterns that we see? Day for most of his adult life, for his life. But this past Sunday, the challenge was too great. Josh's childhood was filled with deep intellect, humor, pranks, athletics, snowboarding, bodyboarding, mountain hikes, reading, friends, and his love for music. Even during adult hardship, Josh continued to maintain his sense of humor, continued to be optimistic, continued to be kind to others, defended those that were unable to defend themselves, and continued to love his family so, so much. While Lori doesn't provide an exact cause of death for Josh, the 63-year-old uh, seems to imply his passing was related to a struggle with addiction, explaining, man. thank you to all of the people that have tried. You see what I'm saying? 
it's it's like these it's like they put these characters that go through these situations out there to relate to us as they would consider peons right it's like we're just animals to these people uh you know we're paying taxes we're just cattle right uh so it's like they just symbolize these people on the main stage to relate to us and to just play with our emotions I, that's how it comes off to me tried to help josh along the way oh, cause of death not yeah. everyone understands those suffering from substance abuse disorder but i am forever grateful for your understanding and the impact you made on his life i also thank those who have supported me through this journey and okay so i'm gonna back up like my opinion oh, here Lori peterson is um oh and again look here's another video and we'll we'll get on with it and I always and look at the 86 degrees to get rid of right there on the temperature. It looks like um, the sun here uh, was facing murder charges and just dies after getting released. Okay, so here's here's this video. Former reality TV star faces yet another real life legal issue. This time, he was arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. Tonight, KCAL 9 Orange County reporter oh, Stacey Butler has times, details of the investigation. Come on in. Known as the troubled son of Bravo's original Orange County housewife, Lori Peterson, police say 27 year old Josh Waring. That he was 18 right there, and I think that um, his mom was a part of. Uh, Real Housewives of Orange County, like 18, I think is what I saw. I'll have to check again on her page, but I think like a 18 popped. I'll have to look again. Don't quote me. Tried to kill another man in a fight early this morning inside this sober living home in Costa Mesa. I saw officers come up with guns drawn, uh, pulling everybody out of this sober living house here. They, uh, and letting him they say he tried to kill a 35 year old. Did they say it right there? And then he ends up dying at 35. Is that original Orange County housewife Lori Peterson? Police say 27 year old Josh Waring tried to kill another man in a fight early this morning inside this sober living home right in here. Costa Mesa. I saw officers come up with guns drawn, uh, pulling everybody out of this sober living house here. Uh, and lining him up on the sidewalk. Police say Waring shot 35 year old Daniel Lopez in the torso after an argument, then took off in a stolen car. He led police on a chase that ended in a standoff in this construction supply warehouse in Santa Ana late this morning. Those staying at the sober living house denied knowing anything about the shooting. Hi, we're doing a story about the shooting last night. The shooting? Really? Daniel Lopez? I don't, not here, girl. Oh, you didn't, were you asleep? Are no. not here? I just moved in like last night. One woman hmm. there escorted us off the property. Go ahead and out there. We're not answering any questions. Thank you, though. Goodbye. Is this a sober living house? Yes, it is. Goodbye. Yes, it's a sober living house. Okay. Goodbye. Did you know Daniel Lopez? Daniel Lopez. Frustrated neighbors mm. say the sober living home has been the source of drug deals, overdoses, and endless... Okay, so the character had some issues, and they want to let you know, right? And now um, we get the death. So I'm going to... Former reality... We're going to go forward, and I'm going to show you. You know, I'm going to back up my opinion here um, on the world being ran, and we see these connections and these patterns ran on numbers and letters, right? And I am Matthew J. O'Connor. That's me. Um, you hear me speaking right now, right? So Josh Waring, the son of a former cast member of The Real Housewives of OC, has died just days after being released from jail for a parole violation. So in and out of trouble, apparently. His mother said Saturday, and that's four slash six. And he was 35, okay, April 6th, the sixth day of the fourth month, okay? Here's um, Instagram. Is that what they said? It is with a shattered heart that I write this post to let you know that my sweet Josh left this earth Easter Sunday, okay? Look how it says 31 minutes ago, dead on the 31st Easter, okay? 3 slash 31, like 31. And you want to know something? Uh, let me see if I can 
show this right now. Let me go right here. Uh, her birthday. Okay, I don't want to say it yet, but her birthday is the 301st day of the year, like 31, and the sun dead on 3 slash 31 Easter. Okay. And um, I'll try to break away and show you that, but I want to show you something else that hits before that, okay? So, yeah, that's wild. I'm on the PC, or on the laptop. It's a little different here. I want to be careful, okay? But this is going to hit, right? So, dead on Easter, and it said, um, the mother said, <laughs> what, a little late, huh? Seven days later. All right. So we're going to get into some of these numbers. What would be the odds? What would be the odds of this? Um, I am a witness to many angels on earth. Not everyone understands those suffering from substance abuse disorder. And again, sympathy. But even those who would suffer with this. Wow. Wow. Real Housewives of Orange County in the language matches with substance abuse disorder. They say, like, um, no cause of death, but they want to let you know about this. And I'm not sure what kind of substance is, but, you know, I, I make the background the way I do. And, ho and hopefully it hits. But you see the 143 with the language, the alphabet in reverse with reduction, right? Uh, what else does it say here? Um, I also thank those who have supported me. This is the Lori, I guess. Supported me through this journey and offering kind words of encouragement by sharing their stories of living with substance abuse disorder. I'm, I'm, is this from, I think this is from her. Yeah, it's like a quote. This might be from the Instagram. And the many parents that have shared their stories over the years with me about the children. They have sadly lost due to this illness. And again, sympathy with those, right? But Josh Waring here, I mean, he really did die at age 35. And substance abuse disorder equals 350 like 35. Okay. <laughs> Reverse the alphabet. Z is 1 and A is 26, right? Okay, and there's probably going to be more with that date there. But, I mean, you see that. Look at it. 36 year of life, right? Wearing equals 36 and 36. The reduction ciphers, forward and reverse, at the 10th letter, you just reduce by adding the two digits. Reduce it, and you just add it up. Wearing 36. 36, 36 year of life, you're born, you're zero, you live a year, then you turn one, but it's your second year of life. So you see how, how that works, right? And I'm noticing Trump's birthday with a 146, and I'm bringing it up because you see Joshua wearing 146, even Josh wearing 146, and you get a 56 in all of them there, even with Josh. The mother 178 like Joshua wearing. Right? And again, I mean, we don't know if they're really related or you know what I'm saying? Uh, we see these patterns, but the 146 Trump birthday with the selection year. That's interesting because Donald equals 31. Okay. And um, was it the the mother's, was it the mother's uh, birthday or was it the announcement? The 300, leaving 301 days in the year? I'll have to go check. Yo, know, to sync up with the death, the 31st. Let me see if I can go over there real quick. It's, uh, let's see. Let me enter the, yeah, let me enter it right here. 
here it is. Let me show you. Share the tab. All right, so you see it right there. Yeah, it's the mother's birthday, and um, we're going to show the verification. But look at that. I kind of caught that on the fly a little bit. So you should be seeing that right there. Okay, so 301 like 31. And again, Trump equals 31 with the selection. We always, uh, Donald equals 31, excuse me. We always want to note that. And I was trying to hold off showing you that because they made the announcement on the sixth day of the fourth month. You see that? And the mother's birthday leaves 64 days. So you see how that all hits in it. And the Instagram post, I believe is what it was. It said 31 minutes ago and the sun dead on the 31st. So that's... You know, I just have to I have to share that with you. Um, what else did I want to share over here? We can always break away at any time. Oh, let's go ahead and look at this page right here. I think it's easier on the laptop here. You can't stop it on accident. So we have the presentation, but I'm still you're still um I'm not we're not playing dumb over here, right? So we see the age right here, 64th year of life, and the announcement was made on the sixth day of the fourth month, even though dead on Easter, and we just connected the 31, Easter on the 31st, right? So you see that? And notice how born in 1960, the mom here, TV personality, and I guess um, the son will pull up his page as well synced up and that is sad right but donald trump has the 60 as well and we have an eclipse today is four slash seven this is trending trump equals 47 politics there's a lot of political numbers that equal 47 white house president government um but trump has 60 in the name and tomorrow is four slash eight the eclipse trump also has 48 in his name so you see how all of this kind of comes together. And I wasn't even really going to go deep on the Trump thing, but I, I will show you that verification. And then I want to kind of look at that eclipse. And we also have that final four and the championship games coming, right? So you see Donald 31 right there. Is it with the middle name? No, you get Donald Trump. You see the 48, the eclipse day. And that's Barack Obama's birthday, the fourth day of the eighth month, y'all. And you see the 60 right there in this character, born in 60. And you see how the world stage is, everything is connected, politics, entertainment, you know, music, all of sports, religion, right? So we'll go back over here now. Okay. So you, you saw how that worked, right? And with the ones and the threes, politics equals 113. So you get, you know, you see the death date again, 3 slash 31. And they're prob probably more with Easter. And again, Josh Waring and Joshua Waring, you get Trump's birthday, the 14th day of the sixth month. Um, that's, you know, yeah, y'all can check that on your own if you want. And you see it right there, Joshua Okay, and it's the year 2024. You add up 2024, you get eight. Right, I hope y'all, I hope the picks hit for y'all. I appreciate um, all the new subscribers. Um, nothing's going to stop me from pumping the videos out. If I stop, uh, put two and two together, right? Okay, so here it is. You know, we, we kind of let it out of the bag, but now you get the pick. And uh, it hits, right? 64th year of life. The death announced on the sixth day of the fourth month. And as we stated, the mother's birthday. 1028. The 128 has been hitting huge as well. If anybody checks out Decoding with Cody, shout out over there. I like the just the calmness of that channel. Okay, we don't need the rah-rah drama. As this show, the reality show, probably hits on, right? Anything that says Real Housewives, I'm sure. And look, again, with her birthday leaving 
64 days to sync up with uh, the sixth day of the fourth month. You see how that hits. And the number probably hits elsewhere. You know, and you see the the 10, 28, like 1, 28 as well. And I may have left something out with that because I – let me let me look real quick. As you look at that, let me pull up – let me look over here. Maybe I, I just want to make sure I didn't forget to put the 128 in there. Oh, I think it's hitting in the next – I think I need to trust myself because I think it's hitting – Oh, you know what? I didn't put it. Yeah. Right? So I'll, I'll show you right now. Um, there's a quote. And if it comes up and I just mixed up the slides, that's cool. But you see how this all connects now. And look at the birthday. 1028 is like 128. And let's look at this quote in the article here. And it's probably coming up, but... You know, we're going to just do it either way here. Because I'm not here to fool or deceive y'all. Um, Where is it at? Oh, it's right here in the title. And I'm sure it's coming up. But look, every fiber in my body hurts equals 128. Okay? Announces death of son Josh Waring at 35. Every fiber in my body hurts. You see emphasized right there? 128 like the mother's birthday i'll go ahead and copy that right there and let's let's share this again this is fairly easy on the on the laptop i might be doing this more look at that 128 okay and you may see other stuff that hits look at 308 with the quote like murder 38 and the 83 death 38 killing it's obvious that this all connects killing 38 rip 38 okay and you may see other numbers that hit as well right and i think we're going to have the pick to you know just to hit a little different it may be coming up as well and again the birthday and donald trump has the 60 and we have 4-8 tomorrow, Donald Trump with 4-8. And look, we get a birthday with the son, Joshua, Michael, Philip Waring. Um, you see it? And notice how he was born in 88 and Trump equals 88. And they say text Trump to 88022. And this character, again, dead in 24. And we have a selection. I'm just showing you how everything's connected as well as we're hitting here, okay? Orange equals 102. Dead 102 days after his birthday. Okay? And you know what? They say Donald Trump is the big orange man. So we just hit huge on the side. And was that a Rush Limbaugh thing? Everyone's heard of that. Donald Duck. Donald Trump, Donald Duck Orange Juice, the big orange man, Donald Trump, Orange County, the Real Housewives, the reality show. You see how we hit, right? We see how we hit, right? Shout out to the ones who hate me out there. I love you. Oh, it says 17 seasons, but there was an 18 somewhere here. Anyways, that's besides the point because we have the Real Housewives of Orange County synced up with Trump even heavier now. And that Trump's going to have to go in the thumbnail now and we may have to pull up the birthday and everything now because we're just showing how everything hits. And look at the 4.3 over here. I'm seeing IMDB killing 43, but I think I saw it a few other places. Wow, that's so that's kill equals 17 and sacrifice 170 like 17. It says 17 seasons. Let's pull up Trump. Donald Trump's birthday. You see? According to Wikipedia, 46. Donald John Trump was born on June 14, 1946, at Jamaica Hospital in Queens, New York City, the fourth child of Fred Trump and Marianne McLeod Trump. 
That's interesting. He it says University of Pennsylvania over there. That's interesting because Biden synced up with Pennsylvania. He was born there. But look, you see the 146, like the character's name with the death here. Right? And that character born in 88. Trump equals 88. Right? So you see how that all works. Um, that hits big time with this and with the selection and Donald Trump equals 60, like the mother. Okay, so let's go back over here. Oh, I wanted to show you the orange thing because that's a super huge connection. Let's go over here. So you're seeing these pics here as well. Lori Peterson. Oh, it looks like she has a daughter, Ashley, who wants to be a real housewife. Ooh, we're not going to go into that right now. Um. I'm not sure if this is her husband in real life, but you see that character right there. And Donald Donald Trump, the orange man. Woo! And it's a thing, y'all. Who came up with the Donald Trump orange thing? Wasn't it Rush Limbaugh? I always heard it on the Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh used to say Donald Trump was the big orange man. So I guess nothing's going to pop up on that now. But if I clicked on some of this, do they say Donald Trump is orange? Could this be Trump's orange makeup? <laughs> you see, Cheney identifies congressman who called Trump orange. Why is Donald Trump orange? Trump is getting ruthlessly roasted over uh, whatever. It's a photo and he's probably orange, right? You see? Wow, right? Ooh. Is that the like a Masonic kind of point? Is that what they call it? Excuse me if I'm wrong. Maintaining his orange glow. Wow, that's amazing. And then orange equals 33, like masonry. I hope this is all hitting. I, I hope this is actually recording. You know what I'm saying? Wow, with that connection. I want to move it forward. Wow, right? And there's probably more there. Oh, his birthday is in the 12th month. And it's 1, uh, what was it, 12 slash 20. 1, 2, 2. So you get the, you know, the 1 and the 2. Again, I said right here, look how it hits. Orange equals 33. Sun 33, dead on Easter. Sunday. Sunday equals 33. And look at it. It's kind of like steps, right? We mentioned masonry equals 33, y'all. Okay. Uh, it is with a shattered heart that I write this post to let you know that my sweet Josh left this earth Easter Sunday. Every fiber in my body hurts. Look at how 102 days, he dies 102 days after his birthday. The the equivalent, the same thing as 14 weeks, 4 days. Joshua Michael Philip Waring, 144, reverse reduction. Again, born in 88, Trump equals 88. Not saying this is like some huge thing connected to Trump. I'm showing how everything's connected. Okay, and look at the three months, 11 days, also the equivalent. The number for dishonesty equals 311, 113. I mentioned politics equals 113. You can add that span, make it 103 days from the birthday to the death. Politics equals 103. What are we doing here, y'all? Lori Peterson, 173 in ordinal. Her son dies on Easter. Easter equals 40, right? The 40th prime, 173. Like the mother's name, all right? We're just using the four ciphers, okay? It's, it, it's a thing. I wouldn't do this and stretch. Okay? The death date. Okay? Th for real. And even 31 plus 3 is 34. 
And uh, murder and morgue equal 34, killing equals 43. Sacrifice. You see the cross. It said 17 seasons. I said sacrifice equals 170, like 17. Y'all can check all of that, right? You know what I'm saying? We're hitting here. So from the mother's death date to the Easter Sunday death of the son, Joshua, here. Okay, the substance abuse disorder, 156 day span, the mother's birthday to the death, right? R H O C alumni, right in the title. 156 in reverse. The 156 prime, 911 for emergency. Okay, and let's go look at the title again. You see? Look. Right there. That's how it hits. I mean, you see, that's how it hits. You know, sympathy. So was that his wife? Or is that her when she's younger? I don't know. Oh, it looks like that may be his wife. Sympathy. I don't know. No, that looks like his mom. So I don't know. Is this him hugging his mom like that? Kissing his mom? Or does he have multiple girlfriends? Doesn't that kind of look like the mom? I'm not, I don't need to like open up any more doors right now. Oh, sympathy. Sympathy for real. There. Okay, I don't want to. Oh, okay, so I guess I'm on the Instagram now. Oh, here, so let me share it. Okay, so there's the Instagram right there. I'm not sure who that is, but you see the mother. All right, now let me go back. Now let me go back over here. So we're back over here in the 156 Prime with the 911 emergency, right? And I'm just kind of glancing around here, seeing if anything else hits. Um, but this, yeah, this it's coming. This is coming nice here. And again, sympathy with the death. I don't know how the background hit like that, but damn, I need to get that more, right? Okay. How did that background hit nice like that? I need to make every background hit like that. For real, for real. I hope this is recording. This better be recording, y'all. Dead 3 slash 31. But look, the 31st day of the third month, 313. Every fiber in my body hurts. The quote from the mother. 313 in reverse. Like the 31st day of the third month. The death date for the son, Joshua. Okay, Josh wearing. Kind of like warning. And you saw the 911 emergency connection. The language, y'all. You see the quote. Real Housewives of Orange County alum. Look at how it all hits. Okay, and I'm not perfect. And there that is. I knew, you know, and there that is. We we saw it, we showed it on the side, but the quote, bam, 128. I knew I had it, but we're gonna hit no matter what, y'all. Easy money. What's going on in the news? What's going on in the world? And watch what else hits right here. 1028 is like 128. And remember, Donald Trump equals 60 as well with the connection of all of this news look at that the reduction cipher at j it's the 10th letter you just start reducing you add the two digits and reduce every fiber in my body hurts 128 syncs up with the birthday why does this character this mother look like lori vallow she had the a son as well who died along with the daughter but why do they look the same? Okay, and orange, like prison orange, Orange County, Trump, the orange man, Trump is synced up with, you know, remember the mugshot? Lori Vallow, the two kids in the shallow graves. Why does that mother look like this mother? And why? 
Both of their names are Lori, but they're spelt differently. I don't play over here, y'all. And you get Ty Lee Ryan, 17, the daughter. J.J. Vallow, 7, all like 17, 17 seasons, Orange County. And you do, you will see Lori Vallow, the other Lori here now. This is all just pumped out of the news. Anybody tripping out there? It's the language. The news is just scripted by numbers and history repeats, recycled. You just have to catch it. And we get Joshua with both of the names and both of the sons. But they said 17 seasons of the real Housewives of Orange County. Reality TV star here, Lori Peterson. Okay. Valo and the two kids in the shallow graves, but 17 and 7, like 17. Duh. Kill equals 17, sacrifice 170. Josh Waring, and you saw how they, they stated it, Joshua, earlier, when you know, in the slides. And you get Josh, J.J. Valo, Joshua. And what's the, what was the daughter, Tylee? It's going to hit elsewhere as well. I mean, for real, for real. Let's, we need to pull up that character in the orange now. You see? And that hit Mega with the Trump thing. Lori Vallow. And Daybell's probably going to hit as well. Age 50. Donald equals 50, y'all. Just using the four base ciphers. Daybell. Donald. Y'all. Donald equals 50. Look at how born in 73 when Biden hit the Senate in 73. Let's look at the orange now. It's Orange County. Look. Orn Real Housewives of Orange County. You get another Lori. And they look the same. And what about Lori... Uh, was it, what was the other Lori? Um, wasn't there a Peterson murder? We get, uh, Lori Peterson. What was the first name of that character? Ah, uh, no, that's not it. What was the first name of the other Peterson? Death. Kill's wife. Because that was a Peterson last name. Scott Peterson. Lacey Peterson. Look at how. Woo. Scott Lee Peterson. Look at how his birthday. Four days before. Lori Peterson. And you see how three stories connect here. Does anybody remember this? Lacey Denise Peterson was an American woman murdered by her husband, Scott Lee Peterson. He really does have the birthday four days before Lori Peterson in this current decode. And it's synced up with Lori Vallow and the two kids in the shallow graves. Look how it says while eight months pregnant and now we're in the year 2024 added up eight and the son's born in 88 Trump equals 88 y'all with this story here Lacey Peterson Drew Peterson Wow what happened in the Lacey Peterson saga? Look. Woo! 2004. We're in the year 24 right now. Look at November 12th. Donald equals 112. 
And that was the Super Bowl date, 11, the 11th day of the second month, 112, like 1112, November 12th. Everything, everything. Okay. And there's more here. Damn. And just more, you know, as we wrap, we wrap it up here. Just some more quotes. Joshua's childhood was filled with deep intellect, humor, pranks, athletics, snowboarding, bodyboarding, all of that. You know, they're reflecting on his years as a father. She's got a lot to say about her son here. Um, so well prepared with they knew about the the substance abuse disorder they're talking about angels you saw the they mentioned the illness again they mentioned um stories over the years with me about the children they have sadly lost due to the illness um other people sharing kind words with her i guess but they don't say that's the cause of death and they announce it um, a week later. What's this? Josh, I love you so much and I will miss you terribly, Peterson continued. I will forever be your mama bear and mama dukes. You know what? Diddy's adopted white daughter just did the decode. She was calling them like Papa Combs. It says, and every time the clock turns to 1111, I will expect your call to tell me to make a wish. Why is that? In recent years, Waring made headlines for his legal troubles, pleading guilty to a 2022 drug charge after he was found in possession of fentanyl and methamphetamine. And they mentioned the sober living war warring wearing also spent four years in prison for attempted murder and they said he like dies right after being released this happens or whatever whatever right um wow they said he died at 35 and they said he shoot a, he shot a 35 year old if i'm not mistaken mm. that 11 11 Wow. Let me see if I I might have a I might have a 111 here y'all. We don't need it, but I'm let me just glance over here real quick. I don't see it. Did we hit all the numerology? I don't think. Let's look at the numerology a little more. Again, the mother's birthday, the 301st day, like 31 and the son dead 3/31 on Easter, like 31. And Donald equals 31. The sun dead on a 13 numerology right there. Politics 113. Ritual equals 81 and two ciphers as well. And again, announced on the sixth day of the fourth month. And the mother's in the 64th year of life. And you see the mother's birthday leave 64 days in the year. Look, the mother born 1028, murder, death, killing, added up 38, 10 plus 28, 38. You see it right there. And we also had a 308. I can share this right over here. Um, I thought we, oh, right here, the quote. 308, every fiber in my body hurts, along with the 1028 birthday in the quote and the 31st day of the third month right there with the death date. And look, you see it and look at the 124. We just synced up. Was it Scott Peterson killing his wife? Was that the name? His birthday for uh, his birthday, 1024, four days before the mother here, Lori Peterson like 124 and you see it right there how that hits as well and you get the lori vallow joshua jj vallow and this is lori spelt differently and her son's name is josh 
Come on. And uh, wow. And you know what? Orange County, that's California, huh? And that Scott Peterson case, I think, was out of California. Don't lie and don't quote me on any of it. Whatever, right? <laughs> I want to go back to that one pick right here. That hit nice. Look at that. That hits. Right there. Wow. And that's the death date. Easter. Every fiber in my body hurts. Looking exactly like Lori Vallow. How amazing, y'all. This better upload. I don't know if I can recreate this energy. And what's up with that 1111? I know Genesis equals 111. We don't need to go on stretch on that. So let's push this at least to 100 or more views. Not for, hey, I want it to get views because I want people to see it. Okay? It needs to be put out there. It needs to be exposed. This character looks like somebody else. Does he look like Chad Daybell? Possibly. Um, is that the husband of Lori? That's possible. Chad Daybell. You know, there's going to be weird connections. You know what I'm saying? Like it could be the father. That's interesting. That's Chad Daybell. And it's the Doomsday Cult. So maybe there's some kind of bigger symbolism here. And maybe that's a stretch saying that it's not a stretch with the Lori Vallow connection. None of that. You saw how that hit. But the sun looks familiar. So we see Chad Daybell here. Right? 55. 118 birthday. That's the 11th day of the eighth month. He's in his 56th year of life. Huh. Okay. I see all of that. All of these numbers are going to connect. Um, we don't need to go wild on it. But look at the face, I guess. And then we go back over here. Wow, that's that is kind of interesting. And now he's got a daughter, and they're letting you know big time. That he was a father. I don't know if he has other kids. But we know how they do it with the half truce. You know what I'm saying? So our prayer is with that daughter. You know. If we can say the word prayers. We got sympathy over here. Uh, and again right there. The Real Housewives of Orange County. You get the orange. You see how it all hits. Right. It's that. You see how that came together? Um, I might have to do this on the laptop more. And shout out Decoding with Cody. The, there's the 128 again, and the 48's hitting as well. And there was a 408 somewhere, like 48. But those numbers are hitting wild right now. Shout out over there. And that background, That's if I can get every background to be like that, um we're really going to take off. We should. And we're getting decent views. Shout out to the new subscribers and the ones who have been here. But yeah, look at how that all hits as we run it back. And we'll play a little bit of the video again. Easter, everything syncs up with orange. Donald Trump, orange in the prison outfit with Lori Vallow. Lori Peterson, the Scott Peterson. What was the wife's name? Lacey. You see? I, right when I heard Lori Peterson, I'm like, okay, I'm going to put that in the back pocket. Looking like Lori Vallow. Wow. And born in the 12th month. They give you the birthday. Do they say that character is famous for some certain reason besides being the son? He was in the show, right? I take it. Son of former Real Housewives of Orange County star Lori Peterson has died at the age of 35. Peterson shared the tragic news on Instagram. There's no Wikipedia for the character. I guess just connected by the show. And I should probably look up that show again. Um, maybe the first episode. 
First episode date, Real Housewives of Orange County. Ooh, 10 days before his death date. Ooh, an 11 day span. Wowza, it's an 11 day span. I knew it from the first episode date. And I don't know if she was in every episode. It doesn't matter because it is what this is it. Look at that. And he dies 331. 10 day span from the first episode date anniversary. Oh, okay. It was so it's 18 years. Wow. So it's 11 day span from the anniversary of the first episode to his death. And she mentioned every time the clock hits 11, 11. And we just hit on that, remember? And that's 213. Ain't that an area code in the California area over there? Right? Wow. Orange County, California? County Flights from California? Phoenix to Santa Ana leaving May 4th and coming back May 6th start at $63. The shortest flight is about 1 hour and 15 and minutes long. You can choose different old. travel dates on your screen. You see what I'm saying? Everything, y'all. That is it, right? Orange County in California? Is there an Orange County in Florida? I'm curious. Is there an Orange County in Florida? If there is flights from Phoenix to Orlando leaving April 20th and coming back April 26th sure start at $103. Right. Let me make sure we got the right. Let me make sure we got the right. The flight is about 4 hours long. You can choose different travel dates on your screen. So let me make sure that we have you never know, right? Let me make sure that we are working with California here. Um I mean, I can assume, but who knows, right? You know what I'm saying? The world's all connected. Um so the Real Housewives of Orange County, is it located in California? According to there, Wikipedia, see, it is primarily filmed in Orange County, California. Okay, so we get our little verification there. I don't watch the show, y'all. Okay, and you get different dates that are going to pop up. You know, debut premieres on Bravo. You might get different dates on different networks, whatever. I don't know. But you see 10, 11 right there. So it's drop the zero. You get the one, one, one again, y'all. They said, she said every time it hits 11, 11. You see, show concluded on the 11th, y'all. Wow. Sure. And we want to play the little news clippings again. Everything hit 11 hours ago is what that says. Oh, and there's the 56. We we hit on a 56. Um, I can't remember what it was. It might have been with Chad Daybell. But dead at 35, substance abuse disorder, 350 in reverse. Let's play these again. And this is from the, the murder. Oh, look at 10, 10, like 11, 86 again. Right there to get rid of in the degrees. Former reality TV star faces yet another real life legal issue. This time, he was arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. Tonight, KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler Susie has details Sue. of the investigation. Come on in. Known as the troubled son of Bravo's original Orange Known County Known as the troubled son, Marie how Peterson. disrespectful. Police say 27-year-old Josh Waring tried to kill another man in a fight early this morning oh, he inside tried to this kill sober a man. living home in Costa Mesa. I saw officers come up with guns. Tried to kill a man, my bad. My bad, tried to kill a man. I think I said he did earlier. And let's know if he's 35, the, the guy. Guns drawn, uh, pulling everybody out of this sober living house here. Uh, and lining him up on the sidewalk. Police say Waring shot 35-year-old Daniel Lopez in the... And then he dies at 35. And what does sober house, sober living equal? Or so after an argument, then took off in a stolen car. He led police on a chase that ended in a standoff in this construction supply warehouse in Santa he just Ana got released. late this morning. Those staying at the sober living house denied knowing anything about the shooting. Hi, we're doing a story about the. Sh so let's. 
He just got released for real? Did Josh Waring die right after getting released? Has died just days after being released from jail for a parole violation. So just in and out of trouble, huh? Wow. Wow, that's wild. It's not wild. I mean, it's crazy accurate how we hit with this. Um, let me hit, let me put sober living in the calculator real quick. It's amazing how, um, look at sober. Sober equals 31. Sober living. You just synced it up dead on three slash 31. And, um, was it the, the disorder that equaled 331, the death date? Look, y'all, Donald equals 23. I think Donald John Trump might equal 76 or 67. Oh, I already had sober, but 137, the 33rd prime. Look, 187 to get, oh, I, yeah, I spelt it wrong. Ooh. 60, like Donald Trump. And uh, the mother born in 1960. Look at the 165 when we hit on the 156. And the 156 prime is 911. You get the reshuffling. But that doesn't really matter because Sober's got the 31 dead on 3 slash 31. Shooting last night? A shooting? Really? Daniel Lopez? I don't know. Not here, girl. Oh, you didn't? Were you asleep? Or no. not here? I just moved in like last night. Let's play this other video and wrap it up, y'all. Hopefully, um, these are allowed to play as well. Lori Peterson is mourning a tragic loss. The and I'll pause it in case I, it doesn't, it, it's going to edit. At least we can get me talking with whatever it allows here. You know? Real Housewives of Orange County alum takes to her Instagram April 6th to announce the passing of her son, Joshua Mike. Angel and you have gained your freedom at last, sweet boy. Love always and forever, Mom. According to the Orange County Register, Josh faced a number of legal troubles throughout his life, involving multiple arrests, convictions, jail time, and probation related to charges involving drugs, attempted murder, and assault. Mm. Josh is survived by his 11-year-old daughter, Kennedy. Who oh my gosh, his daughter is 11 and her name is Kennedy, syncing up with politics. And JFK assassinated 11 slash 22. And the mother said at 11, 11, I'm going to look at the clock. But you saw the quote. <sighs> and the daughter's 11 named Kennedy. They have Kennedy Airport in New York. New York's the 11th state. New York equals 111. Lori previously adopted in 2015 and is raising with her husband, George P. 20 plus 15 is 35. Dead at 35. This is... Peterson. Joshua Michael Philip Waring was 35 years oh old. Oh my gosh, they don't think we're going to catch that. And he shot a 35-year-old. We have been deceived, y'all. R-H-O-C, Real Housewives of Orange County alum Lori Peterson announces death of son Josh Waring at age 35. Every fiber in her body hurts is the quote. Y'all, I appreciate everybody. Um, wow, we did it again. We have, you know, we did the Iowa... Uh, we're setting up for the Iowa game, the national championship versus South Carolina for the women. And uh, I'm probably going to be coming back. Well, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I need to come back with the men's, the final four that hit. 
check all of that. And look, I woke up from my nap and finished with this. I didn't even look into that yet. So we'll see what went down with that, y'all. And again, this is all countering this deceit, okay? I'm trying to expose the distraction. And if it's an if it's a distraction that exposes the fake world and what, what they're doing in this world, right? And they put it out there in these stories. Uh, we see through it. I see through it. Um, that's the whole goal here. So, yeah, we do want people to view this. We do want this out there. We know it hits and we know it's worthy. Okay? Until next time.